Hi everyone, day four of sourdough. You can see how bubbly it is. I have already stirred it. It had a lot of water at the top. I've already stirred it and we're gonna feed it. So I'm gonna take a fourth of this out and I'm gonna replenish with a fourth of a cup of water and a fourth of a cup of flour, put the plastic back on it and let it sit. Now, if you were to smell your, your, your sourdough, if you're working along with me, it should smell pleasantly sour. It's not ready yet, but you're starting to smell the work that the environment, your air, the yeasts in the air, the flour and the water, and the natural yeasts in the flour are doing to make this beautiful probiotic formula for you, okay? So remember, this long process of 10 days is the only time you have to do this. Let's move over to my other one. This is my really old sourdough. Yesterday, a friend called me up and wanted to know if she can have some starter. And I said, of course, well, she wanted to buy it. I said, no, you can have it. It just gives me an opportunity to feed my starter. So I took this one out of the refrigerator. I gave her about one and a half cups of starter and I fed it with another three fourths of a cup of water and three fourths of a cup of flour. Stirred it around, put this lid right here loosely on it, just like that and I've let it sit since yesterday. I can do one of two things with this. I can use I'm probably, I can use about this much in a batch of dough and make some bread and then refeed it, let it sit out another day, then put it in the fridge. But because I have this one I'm making with you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back in the refrigerator. So we're gonna move that out of the way. We're gonna concentrate on this one. So this is making all those beautiful probiotic yeasts. So I'm gonna take a little bit out of this, add a fourth of a cup of flour, a fourth of a cup of water, stir it up, put the plastic on it, and put it in the refrigerator. And that's it, day four, you're done. PSA for the day, social, social distancing doesn't mean you can't go outside. It means that you, if you go outside, go on a hike. It doesn't mean uh, this whole lockdown thing we have in California really isn't a lockdown. You can go to the grocery store if you need to. You can hike, you can run, jog, you can walk your dogs, you can go to the doctor, you can go to the pharmacy, you can go to the grocery store. Just practice good hygiene, don't freak out. You don't have to stay in your house, in a cave, in the dark, and do nothing. You can go out and do things. Get some vitamin D, it's really good for, for your immune system. Today we have sunshine. Tomorrow, 80% chance of rain. Go out and get your vitamin D. Remember to like and subscribe. Ask me any questions you like and I'll answer you in the comments. Ciao.